Now, over 100 Bernie Sanders supporters walked out of the Wells Fargo Center after the nomination of Hillary Clinton. She became the official nominee yesterday. Um, and look, I've got some video on this walkout that I want to share with you guys. So let's take a look. All right, so yeah, there's some videos of the protesters first walking out and then uh, eventually going outside where some of them took over the media tent, which ended up triggering a bit of a lockdown. What do I mean by that? It's that media actually couldn't get back in the tent. In fact, uh, TYT's uh, Jordan Sheridan, who was their reporter, uh, reported that he was even blocked from going inside of the tent by police. Now, interestingly enough, inside the tent, where the protesters were, there was a lot of media. In fact, there were more people from the media than there were actually protesters, which is kind of a brilliant move. They figured, the protesters did, that that's kind of the only way that they're going to get attention. And that's the issue here. Interviews with Sanders supporters there kind of echoed the one thing, that they feel ignored by the DNC. Now, there were reports of people uh, in the convention taking away Bernie signs, one unfurled a huge big Hillary sign to block Bernie signs during the roll call vote, which, look, it, that seems like a minor thing, right? But it kind of adds to the idea that, hey, we don't care about what you think. You're being ignored. And that's, to a lot of people, that's incredibly frustrating, right? Now, there was also reports of Sanders delegates not feeling welcome at the convention. In fact, Nina Turner, later on, uh, she's going to talk about how she felt very, very mistreated and, and unwelcome at that convention before she left. Now, we don't know whether or not she was uh, stripped of her convention uh, credentials or her Democratic credentials and kicked out or not. No, still not sure about that whole thing, right? But Sheridan also reported that 800 Bernie super volunteers. Now, those are people who put in tons and tons of work on Bernie Sanders' campaign. They were also stripped of their credentials and couldn't even get into the hall. Probably because, in my opinion, the DNC wanted full control of the pro-Hillary fest that is the Democratic Convention. I mean, look, of course they want control, right? Because the convention is essentially nothing more than an ad for Hillary Clinton. Now, I kind of understand that to an extent, but they are the Democratic Party. They're supposed to be a big open tent, and not everyone is going to agree. We're not the Republicans. We're not supposed to be the authoritarians who plan everything. OK, we're supposed to have some freedom. We're supposed to have some people who disagree. That's OK. That's democracy. Right now, the problem is, is that they didn't make people welcome. My advice would, see, would be to make them feel welcome, even if they disagree with your choice of candidate, because after all, they're part of the process. A lot of these people might not have even been Democrats before who signed up to be Democrats because of Bernie Sanders. And some of them were longtime Democrats who are now thinking, hey, this isn't the party that I signed up for. This doesn't look like what we used to have. This, is, this isn't the party that, that I grew up with. What happened? What happened? If you want to keep these people, you've got to make a place for them instead of rubbing it in your faces that, ha ha, our candidate won. You lost. Now fall in line. That's not going to work. In fact, one of the protesters, Lynette McLean of Colorado, she summed it up pretty nicely by saying that she would consider voting for Hillary Clinton, but only if she took steps to win over Sanders supporters. For one, she says she needs to turn over the, uh, the transcripts, the ones for Goldman Sachs that she got paid $250,000 a piece for. We want to know what she said, how they buttered up the banks, what kind of promises, if any, she made to the banks. And if there's nothing in there, well, then that's vindication for, for Hillary Clinton. 
Okay, that's fair. Admit that there was voter fraud and corruption. Well, certainly the DNC emails show that. Not only that, but also she needs to listen to, to Bernie Sanders supporters and see how that she can bring them in. Now, she finally says, of all that stuff, she hasn't done any of it. Exactly. Now, one of the things that I personally wanted to do is to, top, is to stop taking corporate and super PAC money. Hold a press conference about opposing TPP. Come out and say, this is why we're against it. This is what I plan to do to replace it. Or this is what I plan to do to make sure that any deals that we have going forward are better. Make a big deal about it. Come out to the media. Answer some questions. Get, get scrutinized right do a town hall something as well as uh, do the same thing for getting uh, a constitutional amendment to get money out of politics don't just do one press conference either do a lot hammer at home every time you do an interview tell the people that you've learned from bernie sanders supporters and that you're listening to them you're listening to us about the issues the american people about these issues one of the things that made bernie sanders so good at what he does and so popular with young people especially and 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 people who are or are struggling is because he talked about the pain regular Americans are going through in detail he talked about these issues that are affecting you and I she doesn't do that the only the, the other thing is that he actually offered detailed policies Hillary Clinton needs to do the same thing she needs to talk like a human being relate to people like a human being and finally, most importantly of all, she needs to listen to us. And she needs to show people that, hey, I, I'm not with her. She's with us. Okay, she's with us. And that's what her slogan needs to be changed to, by the way. Because I'm with her? Really? No, no, no. That's not the way it's supposed to work. She's supposed to be with us. That's what a public servant is supposed to do. Be with you. Be with the people. She needs to learn from Bernie Sanders and his supporters and not just steal his ideas. And that, of course, comes to by respecting and listening to them and not mocking, deriding, or kicking them out. A lot of liberals, progressives, have some long memories. We know how the party regards us. We know they don't like us. People like Rahm Emanuel calling us fucking retards for wanting to actually have a single-payer uh, system to have a public option we remember that stuff that's why we're pissed you've got to start respecting us you've got to start listening to us and respecting us because you know what we are the american people that you purport to represent maybe you need to start representing our ideas instead of the ideas of your wealthy donors and that's what these protests are all about so do yourself a favor, DNC. Open up your ears, open up your minds, and just listen.